Today I'm going to show you how to connect a Rode VideoMic Pro to a computer or a laptop. Now there is an important note about a laptop. If you have a laptop, sometimes the 3.5 millimeter jack on the laptop can do two functions, one being headphones and two being a microphone. So if you have a jack like that on your laptop, it's important to get an adapter that is recommended by Rode. I did contact Rode support and ask if this was okay to do first before plugging in a $300 plus microphone into a desktop computer or laptop. And the reason why the adapter is important for the laptop is because, for example, if it's performing a headphone task and you plug in your microphone, then you're going to get sound coming through the microphone and that would probably ruin it. So I'll show you how to connect it to the back of my desktop computer. And I'll also show you the settings for the microphone in the computer and also on the back of the microphone itself. Now I'm at the back of my computer and I'll be using a 3.5 millimeter jack extension uh, cable because the Rode VideoMic Pro cable isn't very long and my front panel microphone connection doesn't work so I'm just gonna grab that extension down there and then plug it into the pink 3.5 millimeter jack and there it's plugged in now here's the end of the 3.5 millimeter extension cable I'm plugging the road mic into it right now and I'll just place the microphone here. Before switching to the Rode VideoMic Pro through my desktop computer, I'll be right clicking the speaker icon in the system tray, clicking on sounds, recording, and then going over to microphone and enabling it, that's the sound card microphone, not the webcam microphone that I'm talking to you with now. And then clicking on it and then clicking properties. And then you want to go to custom and make sure boost is off because the Rode VideoMic Pro has its own boost. And the levels you want to maybe bring down to 50. I'm going to try 40 because I'm so close to the microphone itself. Now under advanced the best setting I could do is uh, studio quality but I think I'll leave it where it is and then we'll click OK. Now the next part will be from the Rode VideoMic Pro and it can be loud and settings may vary through different computers and laptops so these settings are just for my computer and it may take some playing with but always start low before you go high with the settings especially for volume after some playing i finally figured out the settings on the back of the road video mic pro it's still on high pass filter now it's plus 20 decibels instead of what I originally intended to try and on the microphone properties boost is still off but I guess it could be enabled and then levels I actually had to put it up to 100 instead of 40 and like I said earlier it depends on your computer or laptop these settings may not work with your computer and or laptop but anyway, the Rode VideoMic Pro is connected and this is how I'm talking to you right now through the Rode VideoMic Pro using my desktop computer. So that's how it's done. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe or visit my YouTube channel.